really is about the control of our food. If organics are so expensive that we're waiting on Walmart to save the day and our wallets, we really are in trouble. And that kind of power vacuum in the food industry, it lets companies like Monsanto fill in the void. And they're doing it under the guise of feeding the world by gorging their wallets. There is an obesity problem and most of it is Monsanto's bank. Interestingly enough, uh, I doubt that uh, if you'd support Monsanto if the banks decided that they weren't going to accept their money into their vaults anymore, and then Monsanto would have to take all of their blood-soaked, time-filled money and hide it under very large mattresses. Mattresses that they genetically modified to fit all that cash. If Monsanto became like that guy that hides all their money in the walls and in their mattresses, we would divest immediately and the cops would probably arrest them. Since 2002, there has been a wave of farmer suicides in India because of Monsanto's suicide seeds. I mean, that's really how bad things have gotten with Monsanto, that not only are farmers killing themselves, but even the seeds can't bear the moral dilemma of their existence. Like, we shouldn't be... <laughs> The point of these seeds is that they're around for one growing cycle and then they die, right, through genetic manipulation. That's what Monsanto has programmed these plants' purpose to be, so that now farmers have to continually keep buying new seeds every growing cycle. On top of that, they've been doling out these uh, patent and royalty clauses to farmers in India that led to Monsanto owning 95% of India's cotton farming which is racist, that in a country of brown people, they owned the white plant. And by controlling the seed, Monsanto is effectively controlling life, right? Monsanto thinks that they're God, which means corporations are no longer people. They're, they're just gods. And since there are so many corporations involved just in the manufacturing of food, it would be practicing polytheism. And if that's the case, you know, most polytheistic gods have flaws and eventually get defeated by some other god, right? And that, and that might actually work out just fine, that if the corporate gods just started eating themselves alive, you know, and, and, and it's okay, don't, don't worry. They, they will be saving money on their cannibalism because I doubt that funky meat is going to get the USDA organic label. But here's the thing. The idea behind genetically modified organisms is to help feed a growing populace. And until sex becomes tiring and boring for humans, our population is going to keep growing. And I'm not banking on our species celibacy, not when we've turned sexual education into turning produce into sex symbols. Now, I get that there is nobility in the idea of genetically modified organisms, but it's since it's part of greed-modified capitalism, it'll never actually feed the world. Now, Monsanto claims it wants to produce more, conserve more, and help farmers by 2030. Wait a second, what, what about farmers today? Right. This seems kind of ominous. You know, it seems like an ominous sentence that makes the claim that Monsanto will be absorbing all farmers by 2030. The vagueness in their language proves that they want to produce more food, conserve more money by owning 100% of the farms. And, and they'll probably use that genetic modification to turn all the plants white. Also, they're going to kill farmers, maybe. Or, or they're going to turn all the farmers into autonomous farm bots, and then Monsanto will have control over the lives of the seed and the farmer. 